all right guys so today is uh, friday the 18th 19th of july 2014 just a quick update from me as you may all know liverpool fans numerous credible reports today emerging that liverpool have agreed a 14 million pound fee uh, for fabio borini so this is obviously fantastic business from uh, Liverpool. Uh, I think we bought Fabio Borini for 12 million or 10 million pounds uh, two years ago. As you all know, Fabio Borini went on loan last season to Sunderland. He did quite the, quite well for them actually, and he scored I think seven or eight goals, helped them to uh, avoid relegation. So. Fair play to Ian Air for this uh, very good, fantastic business. Uh, in the end, we are Liverpool are getting back all their money from the Fabio Borini transfer to Liverpool, and it's fair to say also that Borini's time at Liverpool hasn't been a success at all. Uh, he had uh, he was unlucky. He's been he has been injured while at Liverpool. And uh, he's still young, though. Uh, he's a good professional, but uh, in terms of quality, I think you will all agree with me that Fabio Borini is not up to to the standard required uh, to be a Liverpool player. That's not to be. That's not a dig at Fabio Borini, but I don't think that Fabio Borini would be the future of Liverpool, if you see what I mean. But anyway, so Borini it would seem is gone now. Also, strong reports that Usama Asaidi uh, talks are ongoing between Liverpool and Stoke for Asaidi. Uh, rumours of a £7 million fee being discussed between Stoke and Liverpool. So, if these two deals go through as it would be expected, that's fantastic business from Liverpool. Fair play to Ian Ayer and uh, Liverpool for the players leaving the club so it means more money in the transfer kitty for Brendan Rodgers now again the question is what will he do with this money it would seem that uh, Loic Remy from QPR uh, initially who was on loan at Newcastle United last season did quite well for them scored I think 12 or 14 goals for Newcastle, uh, 27 years of age now, has good uh, experience in the Premier League and is quite not bad, really not, not a bad player like Remy, I don't uh, dislike this player like many players that I've criticised before from Liverpool, quite quick, skillful, knows where the goal is and uh, the fee rumored to be about eight or nine million pounds for Loic Remy. So I think in the end we can qualify this as good business from Liverpool if Loic Remy signs. I, I, mind you, I much prefer Loic Remy than Fabio Borini. Now, is this again the question? Is is this enough for Liverpool to be to the next level? We'll have to see. But uh, I won't be unhappy about Lloyd Remy joining Liverpool and Fabio Borini leaving the club. I think that Liverpool still need another striker, despite Lloyd Remy coming. Because for me, Fabio Borini, even if he stayed, uh, his time at Liverpool, uh, really, he didn't con contribute enough for me, uh, in terms of goals, anyway. And... Uh, but we'll have to see. Good luck to Fabio Borini because I think he was, despite lacking the talent for me, anyway, he was still a good professional. He worked hard, he gave his all on the pitch, but at the end of the day, in terms of talent, uh, it was clearly lacking, unfortunately for him. He's still young. I wish him all the best, Fabio Borini. Iago Aspas also, as you all know, is gone. So it would seem that uh, it's a straight. A kind of a straight swap between Borini and Remy. So for sure Liverpool are getting stronger if we get rid of Borini and we bring in Loic Remy. 
but I still think that Liverpool need another striker. So we'll have to see what happens, guys. Uh, so this video was just to tell you, as you may all know, more all probably that Liverpool have agreed a 14 million pound fee for Fabio Borini from uh, with Sunderland, and it's fantastic business. Well done, well done. Fair play to Ian here. But now get going while buying the players. Now, Glory Remy is a good deal, but mind you, the transfer kitty of Brendan Rodgers now must must be over hundred million pounds. Many reports uh, yesterday, especially that uh, Brendan Rodgers has a budget of more than hundred million pounds to spend. But it was mainly uh, for me non-stories from various papers. You know, they are just repeating themselves. Just the targets, we all know the targets. Day and Lovren. Uh, Lovren, prob probably. Uh, Alberto Moreno, Ben Davis. We'll have to see what happens on this, on this, on this one for the left back position. But uh, we have the money for a marquee signing, guys. You know, maybe all, some of you will say that I'm obsessed with this marquee signing. But I think we need to to make a statement in this transfer window and we certainly have the money for to buy a player like Marco Royce one other high quality player but the question the main question again is will this player want to come so I had a few debates with some of you Liverpool fans saying that maybe Liverpool are not quite ready yet do not have the credibility yet to attract these big, big name players but at least give it a try. So we'll have to see. The money is there. The Champions League is there. So we'll have to see what happens. I think we, we might have a surprise. Fingers crossed, guys. Uh, Loic Rami coming, as I say again, is a good deal. I will be happy about that. Uh, it would seem that Liverpool are again for a hundredth time back on the negotiating table for Albert Moreno. I much prefer Alberto Moreno than Ben Davis or Ryan Bertrand, guys. Let me know what you think about this, but if you have the choice between Moreno uh, or Bertrand or Davis, I prefer Moreno. Now, is Moreno worth £20 million, the fee being rumoured to be the asking price from Sevilla? We'll have to see. But uh, if you have the choice between these three players, Davis, Bertrand and Moreno, I prefer Moreno. But my, 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 the left back that I would have wanted Liverpool to, to go for would have been Marcos Rojo or Ricardo Rodriguez. The strange thing is that we have the money to go for, for these players. But God only knows why we are not going for them. Maybe they are not interested. But it's certainly not a money issue. Certainly not a, an issue of not being the Champions League. We have to see what happens, guys. All right, so... I leave you there. Very good deal if the Fabio Borini deal goes through. Very good deal also for the Usama Asaidi deal if it goes through to stop making a profit on players that had very minimum, uh, had almost uh, zero impact uh, in terms of their Liverpool career and still managing to get a profit from these players. Well done, Ian Air. That's very rare that you will see me congratulate Ian Air, guys. So, but I admit it, well done Ian Air for these two deals, for selling the players at a profit. But now, my main concern now is what we do next with this huge load of money. Uh, fingers crossed, like I said, and let me know what you think, guys. Are you sad to see Borini go? We are not, especially for 40 million pounds. Alright guys, take care. Bye.